Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to answer the question, is my soul broken? Yes, I don't know if we can break a soul, but we can block access to our higher self. So what I'm going to do is do a yes and no or with the mystic beings because you know they it's not just yes or no they have a variety of questions of answers rather and then I'm going to select a few cards from my Jungle Beauty Goddess deck to get a little insight into whatever response we receive from the mystic beings thank you so much for watching hello darling I would like for you to participate in a brief meditation to let your mind settle in spirit. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and blow it out to the count of nine. This will help you select a butterfly color with the message that you most need to hear. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help someone find their way. The time stamps for each butterfly color are located in the description box below for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the purple butterfly to the question, is my soul broken? This reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the answer from the mystic being and then we'll look into the Jungle Beauty Goddess deck for a little clarification. So the question is, is my soul broken? Her ask, oh no, she says yes. So now I'm going to look into the deck to see why, like did something happen, you know, but let's just take a look at the cards to get a little bit more clarification. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari who represents our heart chakra and um, our emotions, our ability to forgive, compassion. Her message to you is listen to your heart. Okay. so. If we're talking about the heart chakra, um, that means there's some issues with forgiveness, with love, with um, maybe you've been hurt, maybe your heart has been broken and it's kind of, you know, you, you've stopped trusting so you've built a wall around your heart. And so it feels like your heart is broken because you're disconnected from all that is. Like when you trust life and you trust people and you forgive and people forgive you then you feel connected to your higher self which is like your soul but when your heart is broken or if you feel um, disconnected from people um then just basically you know disconnected from people because they've betrayed you or they've hurt you then it makes you you know, you feel a, a deep sense of sadness. So let me pull the next card for you. The next card I have for you, again, we pull it in Kalahari, who represents the heart chakras, which means there's something is going on with love and forgiveness and compassion. It says, love is the only thing worth fighting for. That gives me the impression that your heart has been broken. Somebody has let you down. It could have been a parent, it could have been friends, it could have been family, but I get the feeling that there's a wall around your heart. That is what my intuition is telling me. And the next card and the final card I have for you in terms of is your soul broken? This uh, Kalahari, I mean Katara represents your body, your connection to the earth, 
And her message to you is money will rush towards you when you find your true self. Okay, nutshell. Is your soul broken? The mystic being says yes. There's a lot of resentment. There's a lot of hurt. Uh, you've been betrayed. People have just, I don't know, like you really feel that you can't trust humans anymore. And because your heart is blocked uh, from being able to open up to receive love, it has also disconnected you from your calling, from your your purpose, for um, what it is you're supposed to be doing. Like if you have a, if you have a wall around your heart, which your heart has to do with loving yourself and loving other people, forgiveness, compassion, um, then it's difficult for you to figure out if you love painting or if you love drawing, if you love cooking, if you love dancing. Do you know what I'm saying? Because love is love. So basically. The card is saying that you need to do some work around your heart chakra, I, 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 you know, in terms of forgiving people. Um, I've said it in a previous video, but I'm going to just say it again. For the people who have hurt you, I really feel that you. Should, there's a couple things I'm going to tell you to do. You can do the Hono Ono, but to whatever you pronounce it, but it's like when you say, I love you, I'm sorry, thank you, please forgive me. And you call that person's name, so you might say whatever that person's name is, I love you, I'm sorry, thank you, please forgive me. It doesn't matter who hurt whom. It doesn't matter who started the fight. It doesn't matter if this person abused. It doesn't, doesn't matter. When you want to heal your heart, you want to let go. So you want to forgive them so that you can, you know, break down the walls of your heart so that you can enjoy more of your life and have more of a connection to your higher self. The other thing you can do, I mean, or both, is I, in the past, I went through um, a lot of pain and hurt. I wrote the person a letter. Don't ever say you did this to me. You did say, I feel, I, I was, I, I felt pain, I felt hurt, I felt betrayed. I felt um, just really just, you know, just dive into your feelings and be honest and write it out. And you should be like bawling by the end of your letter you might want to take that letter and bury it um in the ground under a tree and ask the tree for permission first i've given it advice before and that really works for me for a lot of things some people like to burn those letters i usually like to burn letters that are more um manifestation type oriented but for forgiveness, I don't know, for some reason, like when I put it into the earth, I just really noticed there's a shift in myself. You might want to buy a rotocrosite, a, a rotonite, um, a, a, strawberry, um, cork, a strawberry quartz gemstone, a um, rose quartz gemstone, and you want to wear it of your heart. There are some other, um, you can just, you know, Google gemstones for the heart chakra but do the emotional work don't just put a gemstone on it because I think you need to like you know kind of like uproot sort of speak all of the you know what has happened to you so that you can forgive and and like I said don't get caught into well I'm innocent and I can't believe you know I understand that you're innocent I understand that it's not your fault but in order for you to heal you know when you forgive I think that's a part of the human experience is that you we hop in these bodies and you know um, I think we get lost into the matrix we get lost in life we we lose our way we lose sight of who we are you know what I'm saying and so in order for you to heal and to be reconnected or to be to open up the blockage to your higher self or your soul just I think you need to do a lot of forgiving and when you forgive it's going to connect you to your to your roots as well and to your roots meaning like your dreams your goals why you're here in this incarnation what gifts you want to share with the world uh, i really hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video Hello darling, if you selected the Go Butterfly, this reading is for you. So first I'm going to go over the card with the Mystic Beans to answer the question, is your soul broken? So let's see what the Mystic Being has to say. Is your soul 
broken. It says, be still. Now, what this means to me is that when we are still, this is when we connect to our higher self, like through meditation. So it's not that your soul is broken. It's just that you need to meditate to quiet your mind. You need to be still so that you can have a better flow of energy from your higher self or from your soul, so to speak. So I wouldn't say that it's it's uh, broken, but I'm going to say that you are not living a lifestyle that allows you a connection to hear what the guidance, to hear the guidance from your soul. So let me look at the cards and see what the cards have to say. Uh, we have one card, it's from uh, Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is speak your truth. She represents our throat chakra, which has to do with being able to see the truth, hear the truth, know the truth. And again, we are best able to do that when we are in alignment with our higher self. So when she says speak your truth, this means that you, I feel that once you are able to still yourself through meditation and prayer, or just you know going for long walks because you don't just have to be still in terms of you know just sit and say um i mean you can go for a walk along a, a, a beach or through the park and as long as you are allowing your mind to rest this is going to connect you with your truth that's what you need to do and your truth to me is what's going to your your soul is connected to your truth which will allow you to be in alignment with your authentic self to be able to share your, your unique gifts with the world. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Be I mean, I'm sorry, from the Matter, who is the father of the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, who represents divine masculine energy, the creative force. He said, just because you have power, it doesn't mean you have to use it. So basically, to the question, is your soul broken? I am going to say that the mystic being says that you need to be still in order to hear your truth so that you can speak your truth. And when you are in alignment with your truth based on this particular card, don't abuse your power. Now, one of the things I have learned, and I'm, I am being very serious, when I meditate and when I align myself with my truth, I realize that God is a lion. When I am, I mean, I would think, you know, normally that when I meditate, that it would make me docile, that it would make me acquiesce, but no, it, it turns me into B mode, okay? Like you don't even know. Like I, So I've learned that the more in alignment I am with my truth, the more powerful I become, but I have I have to learn to channel that power, and, and maybe you don't you know find ways to. Let me just say this: the biggest lesson I've learned is to mind my own business. Do you know what I'm saying? Once, so let's just say you be still. You know, you you meditate, right? You start meditating, and you start. I think you'll start having more insight, more intuition. Um, things will come to you. You have better discernment, right? And now that you are aligned with your truth, it makes you a very powerful being. But when you become a powerful being, sometimes we start telling other people what to do, how to live, and you know, we say, well, you know, I, you know, what I'm saying, like, so just because when you, once you're still and you're aligned with your truth, which is your soul, be careful, you know, like don't overuse your power. So um, the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, and her message to you is, uh oh, she says, do it now. So basically to the question, is your soul broken? I am going to say, um, your soul is not broken, you just need a channel, you just need to like, uh, think of it like a pipe or something, you just need to like clean the pipe a little bit you know so that you can have the information flood down to you so that you can you know um 
You're very power. You are a very powerful being, and I think you have a message to the world. That's why you says it says um, speak your truth, and then you have the card that says just because you have power, it doesn't mean you have to use it. So I feel like whoever selected this go butterfly child. The universe has something big in store for you. There's something you're supposed to be doing, somebody you're supposed to be talking to. There's a message you need to get out to the world. And um, I feel like Spirit is telling me to tell you there's going to be a surge of power and that you need to learn how to um, be careful with it so that you don't you know, hurt people. Because when you let in your soul energy you become a very magnanimous and powerful being. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the hot pink reddish looking butterfly, then this reading is for you. The mystic beings are going to answer the question, is your soul broken? And then I'm going to look into my Jungle Beauty Goddess deck for a little clarification on your situation. So the first, let's see what she has to say. Is your soul broken? Is your soul broken? And she says, no, your soul is not broken, darling. So let me just look in here and see what's going on because your soul isn't broken. But is there a message for a little insight? Um, let's see. I'm just going to pull this up gently, child. All right. So the first message I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara represents our mind, but our throat chakra, our ability to hear and speak the truth or discernment to make good decisions. She says, think more and talk less. Wow think more and talk less so to me to the question is your soul broken she says no but she wants you to be more conscientious about what you are saying so you are a person who is very wise and they're asking you to maybe you should think before you talk you know what I'm saying because you know how sometimes you might feel like you know we're multi-dimensional beings and there are different levels and frequencies and vibrations and you know there are people that are and people are looking at you like you know or you may feel like oh you still believe in that well the spirit side is saying you know just be gentle with people be non-judgmental your you are your soul is not broken you are very wise but you need to sometimes be patient with other people who may not be where you are the next card i have for you is from the general beauty goddesses and it says plant seeds to bear the fruit of your soul okay so basically this card your soul is not broken okay plant seeds to bear the fruit of your soul okay you have a special gift to share again exactly what I'm saying you, there's there are some seeds and when I say seeds I mean there's a gift that you have that you need to share with the world I'm not sure what it is or um, how you're supposed to do it but your soul is not broken and the minute you start sharing your gift you're going to feel whole so so I'm picking what I'm picking up is that you may feel a little depressed or a little down or a little confused or perplexed because you're not really sure what to do but what's coming to me is that you need to have a little bit more confidence in yourself and sometimes whatever it is that you want it doesn't manifest right away like you might say I want to be a teacher but then you start teaching and you realize you don't really like teaching but then somewhere down the line what you've learned from teaching is how to write curriculum and next thing you know you're doing trainings or you're doing workshops working with adults you understand what I'm saying there isn't always a straight line to where we want to go so your soul is not broken but you are perplexed because you're not really sure 
um, what to do and spirit is telling me to tell you to get started and don't worry about making mistakes so plant the seeds that's in your heart right now let it sprout and let in the next um, direction will be you will be led you'll be you will be um, you will receive intuition on what to do next but right now just plant the seeds that are in your heart and I have one more card for you and this is from the matter who is the father of the jungle beauty goddesses who represents divine masculine um, oh my goodness he says you are all powerful so basically child you got magic you just need to get going your soul is not broken you probably overthinking it says think um, you're probably talking a lot you're probably sharing a lot but I th you are all powerful Pl listen plant the seeds whatever idea that you have right now that you've been kind of toying around with but you're not really sure if it's going to work if there's a competition if there's a you know a class you want to take if there's whatever is toying around in your spirit that is the first seed like the all of this you know like people don't understand is that even when you plant a seed all of the seeds do not sprout but you need to plant them just for the experience do you, do you understand what I'm saying? So your soul is not broken. You're a super powerful person. You have a lot of magic, child. You, have, you can do whatever you want. You're just not really sure about what to do. Spirit is saying, plant the seeds that's in your heart. The next step will come, will come to you. You will be guided to the next step when it's time. So just know that you are connected to the divine. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling. If you selected the orange butterfly, this reading is for you. The mystic being is going to answer the question, is your soul broken? And then I'm going to look into my Jungle Beauty Goddess deck for clarification on your situation. So is your soul broken? That's the first question we're going to ask. Is your soul broken? We just want to know a little insight when hurt. They get you in focus and she says, you decide. Oh man, I always hate when she says you decide. When I receive a card that says you decide to the question, is your soul broken? I get the feeling that you are a master. Like, you know how there are some people who are playing beneath their skill set? Like, you know, do you know people who sometimes they don't want you to know how powerful they are they don't even want to recognize their own strength so they pretend that they don't really know what the answers are so i'm picking up from this card when it says is your soul broken and it says you decide they're saying that you are a person who has a lot of of spiritual knowledge and that you whatever you are also aware of how powerful we you know how, how powerful our words are so, so you know we usually speak things into existence so they say we should be careful about what we say they know that if they tell you your soul is broken you're going to you know you're going to start to pretend that your soul is broken but they feel that you are a master and that you know that you can you can if if they know that you know better that's, that's that's what this this card means to me. You decide. But I'm gonna take a look at the deck for some clarification to see. Look at the cards more to see. Get a little bit more insight. I have Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, whose message to you is use your intuition to acquire more information. What does it say? In another way, it says you decide. Again. The mystic beings and the jungle beauty goddesses are asking you because to decide if your soul is broken. So I'm going to say they know you are a master and they know that you know better. 
they know that you can never have a broken soul that your soul you can only be you can only have a blockage to your higher self which means that you're unable to receive information from infinite intelligence you know what i'm saying so uh maybe if you are a crown chakra you know you've been taught some things as a, as a child or maybe you know sometimes we become angry with um god and we just say well, i'm not even talking to you anymore because you know i didn't get what i wanted when i wanted it the way i wanted it or sometimes we step away from our um spirituality we stop meditating we stop doing our spiritual work you know what i'm saying and we start playing victim when we actually know better but let me look at the next card and see what the message is for you the next card i have for you is from the matter who represents divine masculine and his message to you is uh oh truth is power I've never seen a hand just going in on somebody. Listen, guys, the universe is to the question, is your soul broken? The universe is saying, whoever selected this butterfly is a master. They know better. It says you decide, don't play. And then you have a card that says, use your intuition to acquire more information. It says, you, when he says you decide, it's telling you to go inside of yourself to figure out the answer because you know what the answer is you know that you are a powerful being you know how this whole thing works and then you have another card that says truth is power it's telling you to stop lying to yourself okay like stop playing small stop playing ignorant stop playing like you don't know what's going on like to the question is your soul broken your guides the spirit side they're being tough on you because they know you know better the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar, who represents our third eye, our ability to um, use our imagination and for wisdom, for understanding. And she says to you, dang it, I've never seen a hand like this. Pretend you know what you are doing and soon you will. This is magical. I've never seen anything like this in my life. To the question, is your soul broken? The universe is telling you, quit playing. You know better. You know better. Pretend you know what you're doing and soon you will. Like you know what to do. You you probably have some chakra exercises. You probably have some breath. You probably, you are a master. You have a, a, a large understanding of metaphysics, law of attraction, esoteric information. Um, you may have lost your way a little bit, but they want you to step into your power because you know who you are and stop playing. That is what they said. Look, it says truth is power. They want you to tell the truth. Is your soul broken? They're saying like, look, you know your soul isn't broken. When was the last time you meditated? When was the last time you cleansed your, your gym cells? When was the last time you prayed? When was the last time you chanted? When was the last time you did your affirmations? When was the last time you aligned your chakras? They're, they're coming for you. They're coming for you. They're saying you know better. Okay? I, I'm sorry. I really hope this information helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.